Forget about this song, I had to start already. But yes, of course, guys, I'm back with another Doka Bad video. <laughs> Get to forget I forgot to think of a new intro at some point. But of course, we got a brand new, of course, Doka Fest Master Roshi. He's coming up for JP. He's pretty much the filler. Like it happens every year. Again, a few years ago, we had Trunks, a Tech Trunks, the uh, was buff. Super, uh, go into Super Trunks, we had Tech Pan a few years ago. We had SGR Vegeta. Again, this time slot, I think he was. Yeah, I think he was in that time slot. Because people thought Cell Games was going to be down celebration. People thought OG Dragon Ball was going to be down celebration. Again, o I know a lot of people are saying OG Dragon Ball. A lot of people are saying, um, whatchamacallit, uh, GT. I was, like I said, I feel like Hylia is going to be GT, though. Because, you know, last year, during Tana Bob, we had GT. I feel like that can continue on from this year. You know, baby Goku. Like that. I feel like it does just make sense. Because Goku, as it being changed. And, you know, it is in this Tana Bob, uh, was you and Rose of Silvala Saga theme the next year. I could probably see, you know, that being, you know, Turn my power probably could be like that next year because I feel like that could be they hit that hard with a few new EZAs and stuff like that, of course. There's some new subunits, but because again, Tana is a big celebration though, so a lot of EZAs, a lot of stunts, a lot of you know, really good units and everything. Um, but yeah, um, right now, honestly, I'm saying this right now, I'm saying this before it even gets out there. If down celebration is great this year, which it probably will be, someone on that, do not skip that for do not skip down celebration, even though people still are stupid enough to skip it, and then, um move on to, like, Goku and Jiren, because I fuck a lot of people are doing that. Do not do that, please. Like, do not do that. Because you're just, like, if the barrier turns out really, really good, you're like, oh, I'm going to skip all this. Yes, because those, all those units have really good value. All of those units are, have a lot of good leader skills and stuff. Again, people are just, you know, you're just kind of dumb if you're just trying to skip all that for, you know, Jiren and Goku. Like, again, they're great, but it's like, you don't need to skip down so much for that. For a best of a global, you have a long time to save up, so... Unless you want to skip heroes, which you should actually be skipping that anyway. Did someone on Goku and Jiren, which Goku will be back and you know, Jiren will be on, you know, he's double rate, so he'll be back on multiple banners later. And Goku will be back during Saiyan Day, so it's not, you don't have to wait even wait that long. But you know, go do don't listen, you know, day one, you know, summon, summon, summon. I don't care, but it's like, it's, it's whatever, it's your choice. But yeah, just saying that, I just want to point that out. So yeah, we already have the new Doku Vest teaser. Of course, gonna be putting that on the thumbnail, obviously. I knew Peppy Gods of it, which you can't get titles from now. It seems like it. That's really, really good. Um, I, this shocked me, too. I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. Because I did see when Roshi got revealed last night. I don't think it's tomorrow, but uh, we got his reveal today. Pretty much a Duck Fest teaser, which that was going to be tomorrow. And just we got him here. But yeah, I think in this filler spot, they add this, though. So he should be in the next probably... Probably, what, like... Because Hellbush info should be... It's going to be short anyway, though. Probably, like, just, like, get Peppy Gow EZAs. Peppy Gow stuff. And then they add a Roshi here. So, like I say, it'll probably be... He'll likely be on the 31st, or, thir yeah, he'll, he'll, his banner will be on the 31st. His celebration info will be tomorrow, like, at 11 a.m., which is usually typical for Doken. So, yeah, of course, we got, and we got a new Bunny Bomber, too. I like the card. It looks really, really goofy and cute. And, of course, because we got units to protect with Roshi and Krillin and Goku. So, yeah, uh, of course, some more beautiful animations, which I'm glad I'm really re bullying these, because you guys have been killing it. Like, I've been doing day, day, legit, like, day one. You guys have been killing it. Like, I love it. Like, seriously, it's been really awesome. So, like... Like, other than them day one, I think it's just, we've been doing really good. Like, Jiren's I did, I had, like, 270, almost 300. Goku's did 300. Gogeta did 1,000, like, what, two or three days? Bro, did almost 100. It, you guys killed them. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm really uploading these. Like, I, I cannot wait for Down Celebration. It's gonna be amazing. Of course, all the animations are pretty much, like, from his first fight. He's training with Goku and Krillin with the milk. Um, you know, this with, with, with River and Army invading his island, like, from the manga. Like, really, really good animations, though. So, yeah, thank you, of course, to Doku and Official. I think you're looking for the translation. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm ready to go over these guys. Let's see what they can do. Of course, I'm gonna do Bunny Boomer first, just because I mean I'm already have her here. I already have her here. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it though. I'm really excited. So yeah, of course again, this talks about Dragon Ball, Earthlings, or Breaded Fighters. Like it helps all these categories for both of them in general though. So they have a lot of good categories that help up. Again, they not like oh they don't need to like be day one buffs or day two buffs or whatever. It's just that you know having them here and existing in the game helps it out more because later in the future we know we can probably reliably get some new Dragon Ball stuff. I thought they could probably do a super easy. I probably think an Int Kid Goku, but he's already good though. I mean, they, I mean they're gonna probably have to though because they don't do a major celebration easy as like in this episode. So or, you know, like I said, Peppy Cow easy. It probably be like eighteen and Mamba. That's what I'm going to say from the last few years. So, of course, we do this. Uh, Dragon Ball Saga is over Bunny Boomer first. Dragon Ball Saga, key three. I'll set to 130. Not bad. Uh, super attack effect. Raise attack and defense up for one turn. Uh, raise attack and defense up by 86% for one turn. Speed damage. Sales super attack. Not bad. Uh, of course, uh, passive is attack and defense of 150. Plus additional attack and defense of 186. Not bad. Uh, when performing a super attack. High chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks. Launch an additional attack that's a high chance of becoming a super attack with the Dragon Ball. Or Red Fires or Peppy Gus category ally attacking in one turn. 
up to max of 50, um, and the attack defense up 50%. No, yeah, you keep one attack defense up 50%. Randomly changes one key sphere of a certain type to rainbow key spheres whenever there are two or more better fighters. Again, that's not, all this stuff, like, is going to blend with their category, and Roshi pretty much is, like, on already to these categories. You just do it in Pepper Gallon, you're good. Again, it's really easy, honestly. For Dragon Ball, it seems like this, they rely on Arthritic Fires now. Even the new free to play, Tech Goku and Krillin and Bulma, like, again, you can easily use them on here. That's off, that, that's obvious. But again, they don't have Pepper Gallon, so you, know, you can just throw, like, a random Pepper Gallon, you know? I don't know. Um, category ally on the team, a chance of an enemy's attacks including super attacks of 10% um, before the character receives an attack. Oh boy. Ugh. Uh, chains of form, uh, I, I, sometimes I kind of don't like that where a character needs to get hit to get stronger, or, you know, they rely on somebody else, or, you know, um, after they attack, I like, I always like, like, turn one buffs, honestly. Uh, chains of form, a attack, including super attacks, uh, f f f f five percent, f f f five percent, with, um, attack evade up to max of 20, so pretty much, like I said, dodge, so, put some support units on here, they'll be a little bit better, but yeah, again, like, she pretty much has the, oh, well, vials effect, like, you know, um, all the category, you know, these, you know, if either of these are on, like, the, um, you know, you know, if either of these are, like, on the team, either the like, allies get one key, again, it shouldn't be three quite right that hard. I do like that, though, because, again, that means she's going to keep just getting stronger and stronger with that, and I do like that. It's a vitals thing, it's the, you know, for, like, I think, like, Universe 6, like, Universe of Vitals Saga, and, like, whatever category, whatever she has, um, the more you have on that team, she gets stronger. I can see that, but i helping out a little bit with that, though. Uh, links are, of course, Brainiacs, Money, 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 uh, Salt Support, Battlefield Diva, Incredible Adventure, Guys of the Dragon Ball, Spheres Battle, Category of Pepe Gals, Dragon Ball Saga, um, Dragon Ball, Seekers, Earth Bre Earthlings, and Breath Fighters. Um, but yeah, not bad for Bulma, though. She's actually pretty decent. I can see her, you know, some people having fun with her, but it's, you know, the Dragon Ball buff, or Breath Fighters, again, this is pretty much all, like, half of those are on the same category. Um, Pepe Gals. But yeah, I could probably see her, like, be some... T I could probably see her being, like, a good side unit for some Pepe Gals teams. Because, again, Pepe Gals is a, it can be a fun team if you get the cards right and everything. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot Aunt Brienne. She could probably get a super easy A, you know? I know she was, like, I think a batch easy A, but, I mean, you know, give her one. She could use it. She'd be disgusting. She'd be Jerry debuffs. <laughs> She's already disgusting. She was probably much almost one of the best units in the game when she got her easy A, so... <laughs> I was going to Roshi now. So he does, he does a lot. So he does Peppy Gals Key 3, also has to 200%. Oh yeah, they are doing a new format with this little skill, which is freaking insane. I think they did it with Jiren too, though. But this is the first, so he's... He, he does a lot for his little skill. So he does Peppy Gals all, Key 3, also has to 200%. Or Turtle School, Dragon Ball Saga Key 3, also has to 120. Peppy Gals, besides Peppy Gals Category Allies, plus additional, all sets up to 30, um, 30%. The bottom matching Disciple or Kamameha. I do really like that, though. And again, the triple leader skills are always the, probably the best thing in Doken. Last year was Zamasu and, of course, Blue Vegeta and Blue Goku. I think that was probably the best they did. This one, I can probably see being a number two thing because, again, all the teams they buff, all the buffs they're getting, all the buffs they have for those teams, or et cetera, et cetera. They have other teams, too, with their leader skills and everything. And it's just, like, I do like this, though. Again, it's a typical format we see with the double leader, with, you know, with the triple, you know, double leader skill, triple leader skill, however you want to go with the quadruple. But then now they're adding this on it, I think that's good. Down Celebration, I can see this doing it. Like, uh, for example, if we get, like, a new GT Goku, they can be, like, GT Heroes. Oh, no, GT, whatever it's called. I think GT, I'll call it GT, GT Heroes. All set to 200%, or, like, you know, Full Power, Super Saiyan 3, or, you know, Youth, or, you know, come and get, like, a buff like that. I can, this is going to be a fun leader of school, honestly. Though. Or they add, like, a hero leader of school to it. That'd be disgusting. That'd be freaking broken, like they did. Um... Of course, super attack effect, raise attack defense for one turn, immense damage. Um, the that's a regular one. Here's, he has another unit super attack, raise attack, greatly raises attack, uh, raises attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, immense damage, or has a high chance of stunning. Uh, his activation requirements for his unit super attack well, it has to be activated when an ally who has Goku, Youth, or Krillin, Youth attacking in the same turn, which again, that's easy. The new Krillin from the um, Dragon Ball story event, Youth Goku, you can, you know, use the Goku from, um, you know, um, the, um, Goku from that event as well, the LR. I was gonna say a physical kid Goku, but I feel like he's starting to age up a little bit, though, but if you wanna run him on there, you can. That be, people are gonna run him on there, uh, regardless. Of course, his, and now he has another unit of attack, raises attack, uh, raises attack, raises defensive for one turn, cause all, immense damage with, the uh, chance of stunning. Okay, same thing, pretty much. Of course, there's another activation requirement is here inside. It says activate it when there's a Bulma category, pretty much when Bulma is attacking the same turn. It's pretty much Bulma, Krillin, Goku. Pretty much, yeah, Youth Goku, or, you know, Kid Goku, Kid Krillin, and, of course, a Bulma. 
again, like I said, they want to use Bony, you don't want to use Bony Boma. You have maybe the free to play one. Um, again, there's a few free play Goku's and Krillin's. Again, that, that can be obviously be pretty easy though, honestly. All the youth and stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, Nidia right here is that he has, I'm gonna read the passive last just because it's so much already here. So, for his passive though, his, he has active skill right here. Recovers 50%. HP and all allies get key three attack defense of 30% for one turn. Oh, no requirements or anything like that. It looks like you just activate turn one. Okay, activate. Okay. I, yeah, after the third. Okay. Can be activated starting for the third turn from the start of battle with HP 70% or less. Or can be activated starting for the fifth turn from the start of battle. Third turn, it's not too bad though. But like I said, I mean, if you can be halfway to the fight anyway by turn three. But they've been doing this for a long time anyway. Turn three. Yeah, when, yeah, when HP 70. 70 is not bad though, but it's always kind of a little hard because you might get there, you might not. With some, I've seen that for the last few years, the last few months for like the struggling for that. So his links are Turtle School, and Fighter, Supreme Warrior, Kamehameha, Tournament, World Tournament Champion, Incredible Adventure, Fierce Battle, Categories are Full Power, um, Dragon Ball Saga, Kamehameha, Bottom Master and Disciple, or Flings, Battle of Wits, uh, Turtle School, Bird Bird Fires. Of course, now on to his passive. Yeah, he does a lot. Activates his intro animation upon the first, um, yeah, yeah, he, did, he, yeah, he activated intro animation only once. It reduces damage received by 30% for 7 turns from the character's entry turn. Attack defense of 150. K3 reduces the damage received by 20% plus an additional attack defense of 150 while performing a super attack. Clutches additional uh, super attack when there are two more true school category allies in the team. Not too, not too bad. I mean, that's pretty easy as well. Again, UI Goku. Um, yeah, probably, yeah, UI Goku, probably, yeah, both the new UI Goku, probably, and, um, the, um, uh, the, um, AGI UI Goku, I think he's probably gonna be his best teammates, and that's really easy against all Gokus and Krillins, plus an additional attack defense, plus it, and the, even the World Tournament Krillin would be pretty decent, <laughs> would be pretty decent, too, from, um, last year, I think goes for Goku, too, I feel like he could probably help out a little bit, but not too much, honestly, just because I feel like he has eat definitely now at this point in time, you know, you got to super attack with him multiple times and to get his defense up anyway, and then, you know, notification, you know, could be a flip of the coin. Plus additional attack defense up 82% per Peppy Gus category ally on the team attacking on the same turn. Uh, plus additional attack up 82% and a high chance of performing a super attack, a high chance of performing a crit when there is an ally who has Boma attacking on the same turn. Turtles go Peppy Gus category allies get key to has defense up 50% besides himself. He seems like a mixed bag of units. He seems like a pretty mixed bag, but overall, though, it's not too bad, though, honestly. Um, he gives, he gives himself a lot of defense, a lot of attack and defense, a lot of defensive buff, mainly. I feel like he'd be more of a tank, though. If, like, what he does, I mean, he's not too bad, actually, though. Oh, people say he was mid already, though, but it's also, like, you know, because, you know, all the requirements he had to do for all this stuff. I mean, but overall, though, it's not, like, too bad or anything like that. This goes amazing. I love what they're doing with the new format right here. I probably see this for down celebration. All these units super attack stuff he does. Again, stunning is not really a thing though, but getting the uh, buffs from this though is really, really good. Again, just having a Goku youth, Krillin, you throw a Bulma on the team again. It's not too hard either though. Uh, just because you're playing Bulma. In the fact like she might not work too well. I mean, but she, I feel like she could again with the whole team and everything. Like I said, once he comes out, once we see like a feel for him and everything, once we see like his numbers, once we see like his um, defensive capabilities, once we see like him in like difficult content. Um, we can see like this again, difficult content is always the best thing to test these units out in because that's the best point you can do in the game now. Again, like the God event, you can probably test them out in because that's pretty easy to you know, red zone. You can probably see what he can do in there, honestly. All these buffs and everything he has. Again, difficult content is going to make these people shine the most. So, about a road, I uh, trust me, after much board, after I know for uh, after our first, uh, after our first, after I did a first run. No item, regular run of Super Battle Royale Majin Buu Saga. Trust me, I never look back. That's, again, difficult content is where we can see the guy shine. Again, for what he does and everything, his passive, it looks like he does a lot and it looks like it's very, very good. I can see him being pretty useful, like I said. He does require, like, Turtle School, uh, which is pretty much, like I said, like, probably the, the tournament curling from last year, from the Goku and Piccolo, um, down so, uh, well, uh, Golden Week last year, um, UI Goku, Tech UI Goku, MUI Goku, um, Yo Boma, I thought he could probably have a place on the team. Like I said, I do want to see him in action with all his team stuff, though, because I feel like he, you know, I don't feel like he's all over the place, though. I feel like he can, he's already good, like, what he can do and everything. Um, I just feel like definitely he can see, I definitely do want to see this guy in action first. Though. I want to see, action speak, do speak, I want to see him in difficult content. I want to see him, you know, 
Let's see if we can do probably against like Frieza and Goku. That is probably the hardest boss in the game right now until Dallas Celebration would have probably break. Like last year they brought them also with the difficult most difficult boss in the game. Dallas Celebration probably bring an even bigger buff than you know, a freaking nuke ton five hundred battle baby or something like that though. But I cannot wait to see this guy difficult. I cannot wait to see this guy in more content though. But yeah, see you guys are those things for watching. Have a great day, great folks. Go check again though. Make sure it's safe. safe. Four chance to come up with all people and I'll put over a mask. So it's a little bit of a review. If you can go outside to subscribe, it's a good PM shot offers and just cross with the query. That's awesome. Go ahead, gonna go ahead and get my thumbnail thumbnail made for the video for the um my extra video right now, and then of course the thumbnail made for my uh um Cause I do make my thumbnails myself. I'm gonna get that made up. I'm gonna get the SA one done. Cause again, that one, I have those assets ready and stuff like that. But yeah, what do you guys think though? Of course, though about Roshi and Boma, you like to hate it again. Oh, Dragon Ball stuff though. A lot of new content coming up. I like it. It's all really, really good. I cannot wait for it though. Lots of new stuff. Lots of craziness. Lots of cruelness. Lots, lots, lots of good stuff. Of course, for OG Dragon Ball. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hope you guys love it though. But yeah, um, see you guys later though. Okay, though. Peace out.